the first thing to consider starting would be the size and placement of your subject matter. That's of uh, primary importance. Everything is done with the same brush stroke, where your fingers, wrists never move. Your fingers and wrists never move. Your whole arm moves. So this, you know, would be for me blocking in would be fine. Get a nice long, long line here. So you're not worried yet about all the little ins and outs of the, the skull and the brow ridge and the cheekbone, but just the overall design of this movement. Then you can go in and, again, simple, simple, just out, down, in, down. Very simple, not all the little ins and outs. That, come, that comes later on. The other thing that's necessary at this stage is you to make sure that what you put down carries, that it has enough vitality of color or value and freshness that you know this versus this will be seen across, across a room. And your cool color stands for background, you see, so background to background. And then, so this you can make cooler, cooler, goes back because it's related to the background which is already back, you see. So, you, uh, you see, so this warm comes forward, cool goes back, you see. Also here's an interesting point because here the light trickles off, you understand, it, goes into the shadow softly, it trails off. And just the way you say it trails off, you just let your brush stroke trail off into the light. See, whether you do something the way you want to do it or not the way you want to do it, uh, you learn from it, you see, you just adjust. If it doesn't look good, then you just adjust it. In order to understand how to finish a painting, one must know how to begin a painting.